Let's talk to the people. Her first. What do you wish of me? Um, Kitty. Um, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. How did you become a shape sh changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. It's just a legend, right? So I assume. My mother has walked the wilds far longer than I. Who am I to suggest what things she has done and not done in her past? Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. Uh, can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. Uh, can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. I've never heard of magic like this before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Mm. That's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I'm shocked that you think so, being a mage of the circle as you were. But perhaps you felt a little like a caged bird <coughs> as well, caught within that dark tower. Yes, very much so. I thought so. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Mm. I think your abilities uh, sound quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. She likes me. Mm. How about you, Sten? Will you like me? Why are we stopping? Uh, we're working to together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Uh, 
Are you all right? You were in the net cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Mm. You said you were in the army. I am. Why would the Kunari send soldiers here? The Antam are the eyes, hands and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. <clears throat> I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. Oh. Please? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. A little hostile, are we? Aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. So you, this is you being calm and helpful? Couldn't you tell? You know what? Just follow orders and you'll do fine. As you wish. <laughs> and he still approves. Wow, that's a very... squarish piece of cheese. Oh well, Lady yes. Anna. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um... What would someone like you be doing in Lord of the Rings Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Uh, they don't teach you how to fight in the clo cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Um, so your skills were learned before your time in the Chantry? I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. <laughs> um, let's move on. Such a liar. Do not step in the fire. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Mm. I just thought you might need to talk. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. No harm done, Alistair. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Uh, that's an excellent idea. I think he came from High Eber, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Mm. No, not really. Not since I went to the tower. That must have felt a lot like when I got sent to the Chantry. 
You mages don't even get a say in the matter, after all. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Um... Maybe I'll go to Hyo with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. I like how it's Morrigan who likes me the most. Puppy! Oh, why you little? <laughs> what, what? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me, look. Well, he is a war dog. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. <laughs> Such a cute puppy. Now, let's get these if arrows If there's away. anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. So, what's your story exactly? Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Uh, go on. So, as I said, things were going well. But good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Mm. What happened then? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigers. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Uh... Well, better to do something with them than leave them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. You're quite lucky to have done so well. I thank the stone every single day. Now. Is there anything the boy, or I, can get you? Um... You didn't mention your son in the tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here... I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think, and he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. He may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Hmm. That was generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural, working with enchantments. He might have even been leery-maddled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. 
He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment! <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Mm, but where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we... We don't rob people, alright? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the lost tides, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. Mm. I suppose it's better than having the Darkspawn take it all. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. Have you heard any rumors? I hear that Tyr Logain, the Regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I should go. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Goodbye.